Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to demonstrate how to work with imported geometry and give you four really good tips on doing so. By imported geometry, we mean a non-native, non-SolidWorks native file. Okay. In this case, let's grab a Parasolid file. It's previously been exported out of SolidWorks, so there are no features. So here's the first tip. Always, always say yes to import diagnostics. The reason is we want to know if there's any faulty faces or gaps. And this will tell you that. You want it to show green just like this. Sometimes you can uh, heal faces or gaps using this tool. When I check out of this, if you run in the uh, SolidWorks uh, Premium or SolidWorks uh, Professional versions, you'll get a chance to do feature recognition as well. Uh, I'll say no to this for now. We can also manually run import diagnostics by right mouse clicking the import feature and coming here. It takes you right back to the same place. Okay, that's the first tip. Second tip, check your units. Uh, lower right corner is a quick place to check your units. Uh, here we're in millimeters and, and go a little bit beyond that. Uh, go to the evaluate tab, do a, a reference measure just to make sure that uh, that you understand that not only are their units correct, but we're not off by a factor of say 25.4. Okay, and this part's 370 millimeters. That's what I expect, so I'm good. Okay. Third tip: uh, go beyond the import diagnostics and go ahead and do a tools check. This runs a slightly different algorithm and it's looking for invalid faces or edges or in some cases general faults. Now we want it to say exactly what it says here, no invalid edges or faces. This is good. Uh, if you've got any geometry problems, uh, such as I mentioned general faults, invalid faces or edges, you've got to deal with them before you work with a part downstream. Okay, Otherwise you will run into problems. Okay, and we want to know that on the very beginning. Okay, the fourth and final tip has to do with a little bit of functionality and a lot of people don't realize that we can do something like this. So um, we can go to insert face. Let's say that uh, we didn't want this geometry. Um, we want to chamfer instead on our part. So we can go to insert face. We can do a delete. Okay, delete and patch and we can get rid of that okay and then we could come in and we could chamfer it you know with our desired geometry so yes this is an imported part but uh, you still have some tools in your toolbox for uh, working with the data like that okay this is Tim Roberts at Go Engineer thanks for watching this quick tip video